You may have heard of Lexan before. Um, some people mistakenly call it plexiglass, which is a different material. Plexiglass is, is actually real brittle. This stuff you can uh, hit it with a hammer, drill through it, cut it with a saw, and it's it's soft, but it's still very uh, very tough material. We're gonna test it, shooting various calibers of bullets at it, just to see how bullet resistant it really is. You may have seen the guys on MythBusters using this stuff as safety guards. Um, it's also used in safety glasses and uh, like cockpit windows. 22, take one. Standing by, stand by. <laughs> Man, it sounded like a pellet rifle. So I don't, I don't think a nine millimeter. I think a nine millimeter would go right through it, don't you? It's hot too. Is it? Yeah, but oh, it stopped yeah. it. Half inch Lexan. Very cool. Completely. Nice shot. It. This gun shoots good. Okay, our second shot, which we forgot to turn the flip on. <laughs> this camera. <clears throat> Pretty much the same thing. Only it didn't go as far. As this little bulge in the back. Uh, what's next? Uh, nine millimeter. Yep. Okay. Okay, we're going one inch thick of Lexan, which is t actually two layers. Hopefully the first layer will take in take the brunt of the damage and protect the second. And again, we have the milk carton behind it, which will show any damage. Okay, nine millimeter, two layer test. Hit it. I, got, I think it ricocheted and broke one of your clamps. But it stopped it. You concealed it, right? It went through one. Oh, the milk jug's dead. Yeah. But uh, that was just from the impact. So two layers of undamaged Lexan will stop a 9mm. Okay, AK-47, or in this case, it's an MAK-90. Same distance. Two layers. One, we're just... We're using the reusing the uh, previous Lexan from the nine millimeter. We'd definitely go through. Then we'll go three layers with the AK. Okay, we're filming. Oh my! Safety. Safety on. I try to avoid the other bullet. Oh, you went. You went. That's it. it went clean through that sucker, though. There's the nine millimeter. I gotta back this out a little bit. AK went through there just and hit the sand behind it with no problem. Tiny little both layers. But it did, I, I expect it to shatter. I guess maybe because the velocity is so high, it just went through like butter. Go for dead center. It's not your rifle, so you're not really used to where it aims at. You know, everyone. Yeah. Not everyone can pick up a rifle that they never shot before and just, you know, be. Good at it. At, yeah. There you go. Whoo! Where's the? You just skinned that one. You're like shooting really high, I think, still. But it shattered that one of the pieces, I think. There it is. Wow. And there's the other piece. Wow. There Not so go. bulletproof now, are you? Ha <laughs> ha Okay, now we got a big pile of garbage. Uh, there's. Two or three new pieces of Lexan, and all bunch, all the broken pieces. So we're gonna shoot that with the Mosin Nagant. Wow, there was smoke coming off that thing. Yeah, there's some smoke coming off of it. I mean, you could have three inches of Lexan, and a Mosin Nagant is gonna just go through it like butter. It went through it and continued out the back and hit the sand, and. Uh, you know, we're, we kind of half-ass pieced these together, and some of these are guesses. We know we went through at least four or five layers, which is two and a half inches. That's a lot of Lexan. Yeah, and really just went through it like uh, like it was styrofoam or something. So anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting. I, I I didn't know what I was going to do. I thought maybe it would ricochet or shatter. Not you know, shatter from the impact. Yeah, very interesting. All right, very cool.